What are we doing? You want to cook? I want to cook. You want to cook? Let's you want to cook? Cooking. All right. What are we cooking today? We are going to try our hand at the Ronto wrap. Ah, from uh, Gal that Galaxy's Edge place, that Batu place, at the uh, Outer Rim place, or yep. Edge of the Galaxy. Yep. So when we were there back in January, the Ronto wrap was one of our favorite dishes. Yes, and it was e actually at the time it was probably the easiest to get mm -hmm. because that was the quickest line and everything else we needed reservations for and whatnot. So we found this handy dandy cookbook in Target, and we thirty percent off by the way. We thought we'd check it out. Um, Looking over their Ronto wrap recipe, I already see some differences from what we experienced in Galaxy's Edge. It doesn't look like the actual Ronto wrap that we received while we were at Galaxy's Edge and they didn't have guacamole. I don't remember there being, I could be wrong, but I don't remember there being two types of pork or whatever, however they're doing it. They I don't remember. They seem to have blended the pork for this recipe okay. in the sausage, whereas at Galaxy's Edge when we had it, it was a sausage topped with pork and then topped with coleslaw. Yes, it was the coleslaw. Very so. delicious, by the way. Didn't we get it? We got it for a lunch because we went two days. Mm -hmm. So we got it lunch one day and then we got the breakfast, the breakfast Ronto wrap, which was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. So we're going to aim more for the Disney version or the Galaxy's Edge version mm -hmm. than the cookbook version. So I went ahead and made up a coleslaw instead of some guac. Plus you're not a guacamole fan. <gasps> So, all right, so what do we have here as far as ingredients go? Um, we've got some chorizo sausage. All right. We've got some pork. Mm-hmm. Some diced onion. If you can see that in there. A little bit of tomato puree. A little bit? It looks like you filled up the whole thing. Like half a can. All right. Uh, some brown sugar. So, and then, wait, this is for the sauce part? Yes. Okay. So that's what the meat will cook up in. Okay. The book also gives you a recipe for your own Ronto wrap bread. I don't think we're at that level I'm yet. I'm not that ambitious, so we're gonna use a pita. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I could have sworn we got it on like a pita bread when we were in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, it, it's basically a pita, and if you go to the bread section, it looks like a pita. We're being lazy. Mm. All right, so is this everything that we need? Yep, that's it. What's the salt and pepper for? Um, just to add as needed, I guess. It doesn't even tell you an amount. It's just like salt. All right, so did you want to just go over to the stove and start all of this? Let's go. All right. All right, let's give this a try. What are you doing first? Uh, onions going first. Right. You're on super wide view, so I can get the whole entire Galaxy's Kitchen. Oh, great. And of course, we have a little friend who always has to stick his nose everywhere. There he is. It's Gunner. All right, so what, do, what does the recipe say for this? No, uh, and just let the onions simmer for a bit and then you add everything else. I want to know what it specifically says. Read it to me. <laughs> Heat the oil, blah, blah, blah. Add the onion, cooked until soft, several minutes. Add the pork and chorizo. Cook about five minutes. Does it say how we have to do the pork and chorizo? Now, you were saying before, because your memory is better than me, that mm -hmm. it was a chorizo sausage, but then it was like wrapped up in a piece of pork in the pita, yep. which we have a picture of that you said, right? Yes. So if okay. you look at the picture, it's a sausage wrapped in pork with mm -hmm. the coleslaw on top. This calls to remove the chorizo sausage casing and no, we're not doing use that. a ground pork. So we're just... We're going to use this as a guide to get yeah. us as close as possible to the Galaxy's Guide, Edge. Guidelines. Guidelines. All right. So we will come back and check in after our onions are soft. Cooked for a while and soft, it said? Yep. All right. Add the pork and chorizo and cook for about five minutes until the meat is brown. So we're just going to just throw all of this just, in here. Just throw it in there. Uh, okay. Here we go. Did you want one? Well, you can't have one. Aww. Did you want this one? Here, you want this one? Oh, uh, no. How about this one? Do you want this one? That's so uh, mean. Uh, oh. Stop <laughs> that. <laughs> He'll get his. Don't worry. Now, what are we, am I cutting this? It says that this is half an hour or just do you want- throw it all in there. Throw it all in there. We'll have now. a little extra pork. Should, should I just- <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ma, I'm cooking. <laughs> all right, so it says to cook and brown this for five minutes now. Yeah, it might take longer than five just because we have a little more meat in there. Yeah, we're gonna have definitely have extra. So we'll just gauge it when it starts turning brown, we'll add the spices. All right, we'll check back in in a few minutes. Woo! Okay, so Alexa went off after five minutes. So 
This, this is what happens when you don't have a big enough pan to cook. It'll so we're gonna make it work. It work. Uh, but we it was supposed to brown for five minutes and now we are to, oh, you're doing a pinch like emerald, huh? I just wanna spread it around and not just glob it I would have Well, that's what I did with the that's sausage. Exactly I would have just did. dumped it all in and went I'm poof. spreading the joy. And this guy is still hanging around. You're still hanging around, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at that nose. So this is the sauce and the brown sugar pot. Mm -hmm. And then how long do you leave this cooked for? 15 to 20 minutes. Um, we're just gonna gauge it by temperature. So pork is 160? The pork and the sausage. Okay, so go ahead, just dump that in there. Oh, now that's starting to take shape and look like actual food. Um, do we have to cover this? Um, it doesn't say to, but I think we will just to help it cook. Yeah, I would cover it. Yeah, so this is the sauce and the brown sugar thrown on five chorizo sausages and some ground, looks like pizza. It calls for salt and pepper. It doesn't say how much. Hey, you know, do it the way that we do it back home. Whenever you feel. Yeah, we can always add more later. Thanks, Dad, for the boozy salt and pepper. Well, you know, we're, we're living the high life now. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna cover this, and how long do we cook this for? Yeah, we'll check in in 15, 20 minutes. 15 minutes, see if you. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Not yet. Is it done? How much longer? Calm down. Alexa, what's my timer at? It's six minutes and 50 seconds left. Almost seven minutes. Coming along. Ronto wrap. Are you gonna make a mess? I'm gonna make a mess. All right, so it's done. Uh, 15 minutes, the uh, sausage is at the correct temperature. Uh, we let it simmer or saute, whatever the, the right words are. And we are now putting them in. <laughs> These are our... <laughs> is it, what is this for presentation? Yeah. So what are you doing? You put the pork first? I'm going to do one each way. One pork first, one sausage first. Okay, so in, that, in this one, you threw the pork... I'm going to call them pork crumbles. Sure. Because... Again, if you look at the uh, Disney photo or when we were down there, it seems like they wrapped up the chorizo in a, what'd you call it, a pork loin? Like a slice of pork loin. It was just a slice of pork um, with the coleslaw on top. Whereas I think this is a little bit messier. It's gonna be very interesting to uh, eat, but um, you said, you, all right, so this one you did the pork crumbles first, and this one is the, this is kind of side by side. So what do we what do we do now? A little coleslaw on top, and mm -hmm. that should be it. A little coleslaw, get that on there. You make the best coleslaw this side of Pennsylvania. I'm surprised you didn't go with like Naboo, the Galaxy, like Oh, well, other. we're on, oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, good point. So we have plenty left over actually for another three uh, Ronto wraps, it seems. Mm -hmm. So. We're gonna get a couple of close-ups. All right, so these are our Ronto wraps. Here's the cookbook version. <laughs> yeah, there's the, the, so this is expectation versus reality. So here is the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the official Black Spire Outpost cookbook, actual Ronto roasters on the front cover. And these are the Galaxy's Kitchen. Yes. <laughs> um, Ronto wraps. So, you know what? It was a good first try. Let's see how they taste. Okay, so we are going to, I guess we gotta try it on camera. We're gonna you, make a mess. You're supposed to stand behind your food when you cook it. Oh All right, here we go. Careful, it still might be hot. I, I don't know if I can. Oh. That's pretty good. Messy. Very messy. Savory. The cat's jumping around all around the place upstairs. Oh, those are fireworks. Yeah. Very messy, but delicious. It has more of like a, um, I can, I can taste the chorizo. Excuse the fireworks in the background, if you can hear that. It's always a party out here in this neighborhood. The chorizo is good. The coleslaw gives it the twang, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember it being so tomatoey. It's very, it tastes, you can taste like the tomato sauce. The sauce is. And I don't think that, I really don't think that that was the sauce in Galaxy's Edge. If anybody is a Galaxy's Edge food expert, please tell us in the comments below what is the sauce or what do you think the sauce is because this is, this tastes really good. 
This is interesting. But it does not taste like Galaxy's Edge. Not what I remember. So, but I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna finish those tomorrow for lunch. Definitely eat them. This was our first attempt at a cooking anything on camera. I mean, we have, <laughs> we just moved into a new house. We you know, wanted to try out the kitchen. So this was our first like on camera meal, but very interesting indeed. We enjoyed making it. If there's anything you wanna see us try, anything you really enjoyed from Galaxy's Edge, it's probably in this book. Leave us a comment, maybe we'll cook that next. And what is your favorite Galaxy's Edge food? by either going there or from the cookbook. So leave it a thumbs up, thumbs down. No. No thumbs down. Don't do that. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and spread it around, tell your friends, and have a good rest of your weekend. Bye guys. Be easy. Be easy. <laughs>